Okay, welcome back. And in this solution, what we are going to do, what are we going to do is to find the next day, right? So we will need to get all the information for our current date. Uh, for example, the day, the month and the year. And right afterward, we should find the next day while taking into consideration all the things that we've specified before. For example, if we are at the last day in, of the month, if it's a leap year or not, and so on and so forth. So let's start by creating three variables in day, month and year. OK, so in day, month and year. And also we'll specify int leap year equals to zero. OK, so day, month, year and leap year equals to zero which is simple default, okay, that I will use for this video, some default that says the leap, uh, the year is not leap. Otherwise, if we will change it, it will be like not zero, we'll specify that it's uh, a leap year, okay, for example. So <clears throat> let's just start getting all the information. Enter uh, the day, okay, or enter day. And in this case, uh, enter the day we will use it to read the day so scanf percentage d and store it inside variable day okay and the same we are going to do also for the month right oops sorry about the month and about the year okay so month and year and one thing that i want to mention here in this video guys is that once again you see that i don't use only presentations i use like hands-on with you guys to solve different exercises and sometimes it takes us a little bit more time but i think this step-by-step -step tutorial that i go with you together is really it, it's really worth it because from my experience a lot of students prefer this way of teaching and i hope that you too anyway let's get back to business and Let's use here the ampersand of month and the ampersand of year. Okay, awesome. So enter day, enter month and enter year. And now what should we do? What should we basically do and why? what will be our next move? So what I suggest is simply to, first of all, let's find um, if a given year is leap or not okay or not leap so <clears throat> how can we do it we can simply use the following conditions that we had um but what i will do is simply to kind of uh to kind of let's say uh if we are interested in a leap year the only thing that is going to interest us is uh, <clears throat> if a given month is simply february right because otherwise we don't care if the year is leap or not so let's say if month equals uh to what is it is two right because if it's february february and also if the year is leap so if let's say year modulo i just want to summarize all of the conditions that we've used in the previous video to one condition so if year can be divided by four without a remainder and also the year can be divided by a hundred okay with some remainder or basically uh the year cannot be divided by a hundred without a remainder or the year can be divided by a hundred or four hundred without a remainder okay so that's just the formal conditions um, <clears throat> that we've used in our previous um, in our previous video. So let's just make sure that everything works okay. So uh, year divided by four without a remainder, and also and also okay, and also either the year cannot be divided by a hundred, okay, or a year can be divided by four hundred. So okay, so. <clears throat> if it uh, can be divided by four without a remainder and also either of these condition seems to be true so hopefully guys make sure that you uh check out this condition if i've done it 
for a hundred percent okay because this exercise is not all about it but still anyway uh, just make sure you check me out maybe I have some small mistake here I'm not sure about it so if if so I will of course update the content in some uh, description below but until then let's simply proceed so leap year equals to one and that means that the year is what is it it's leap okay so awesome so now all that remains to do is simply to move one day further so day plus equals to one so we simply use day equals to the previous day plus one okay Whew. so now we need to take into consideration a lot of options and these options basically are based on the month right we previously used some exercise with months just to get the number of the month and to print the name of the month and we used switch case option so probably here it will be also a good idea let's use switch case switch case on month okay and switch case on month because we know there may be months with uh, a lot of different uh, days so we know that if we are going to use for example um the first month right so it's case one it's january it may be case three which is marriage case five and that's basically guys some information that i'm taking from the calendar and i can see which days have you know like 31 days and which days uh, which months have uh 30 days and which have 31 so it will be case seven okay I'm, I'm not inventing here anything okay so i'm simply writing the conditions so case 10 and uh case what is it december yeah it's december so case 12. so if month equals to one or month equals to three or month equals to five and so on if that's the case we will check if day after it was incremented is less or equals to 31 and if that's the case that's okay that means we do not have to move one month further okay so break and in this case we know that that's that, that that's <laughs> okay awesome so we know it about these days and also let's check now about the other months so it will be like what was it case four case six which is june uh, case nine i think it's september case what was it case 11 november and yeah i think that's it right we have one two three four five six seven okay uh six seven and four okay exactly so now let's check if day is less than or equal to 30. if that's the case it's also okay right because we know that uh, the next day is still in range and we do not have to move month one further so break and that's also okay and now uh, let's treat the last month uh, which is the most not problematic but the month with um, that relies on the fact that if we have leap uh, year or not leap year so case two and if that's uh february right it's feb february and in, if that's the case we should ask the following question if day is less than or equals to 29 but it's a leap year let's say leap year equals to one then that's okay that's okay but if we know that it's not a leap year okay so let's do break okay and else if else if uh, if we will say that day is less than or equal to 28 which is also okay we'll also use break okay so simply what we are doing in these switch cases is just to like to take into account all the necessary information for us to like to work with uh <clears throat> the days to work with the days where we don't have to move month neither neither month nor year one ahead 
which are simply just to increment day by one and everything works correctly. So that's this one and that's this one and that's the case. Okay, so if day is less than you know, is less than or equals to 31 in either of these months or equals or less than 30 in these months and so on. So that's okay. But if this condition was false or this condition was false, okay, and it's very important to notice here how the switch case works. If this condition was false or if this condition was false or if this condition was false, either of them, okay, basically if this condition was not executed or if this condition was not executed, then uh, the break command that simply should like, you know, like to get you out of the switch case uh, statement, then it would not have been executed. So what uh, the part that will be executed is the default part and the default part goes like this. So we will say that the day should be equal to one because we move to the next month. The month should be equal to like the next month. So months equal to, to the previous month plus one. And also we will say that if month is greater than 12, okay, right? Because it can be like if we have, uh, like if we've been on December and we added just one, okay, then we've moved to the next month, which is like January. So it will be, uh, it should be month equal to one. So in this case, we will specify that um, month equals to one and also year added by one. Okay, so year equals to the previous year plus one. That's how we should do it. And it's guys, it's super important to understand the structure here once again. So we are running over the months. We check if a given condition of if day is less than or equal to 31. If that's the case, we break and we get out of this switch case once and for all. But if that's not the case, if day was like, I don't know, 32, then in this case, the result of this condition would have been false and the break would not have been executed. And you would simply jump okay, to the default section. And you would say day equal to one month plus equal to one. And you would simply increment everything by one, <clears throat> both the month and also the year if it's necessary. And once you are done and you are out of this switch case, you will simply print the next day. So the next, the next, let's say the next awesome day is and let's use, I don't know, percentage D, percentage D, and percentage D. Okay, so that's basically what we would have printed out. And backslash N, of course, <clears throat> and we use here day, month, and year, which all of them are already updated to the next day. So awesome. Let's build and run it and see what happens if we insert here. I don't know, what was it like? Mm -hmm. Enter the day, enter the month, and j just an arbitrary, um, I don't know, 1998. So the, uh, the next awesome day is 26. Well, okay, awesome. But if we will have a leap year, let's say um, 28 to February 2020. So the next day is 29 of February 2020. Awesome guys, so I think this program works perfect even if we take like 28 February 2019, which is not a leap year. So the next day is the 1st of March 2019. So awesome, 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 awesome guys. Still, if you have any questions about this exercise, it was not so easy, it was kind of difficult. Feel free to ask me and yeah, hopefully you like the video and you like the solution and you feel like you're getting more confident and you're developing really real programs that may find the next day based on a given day, which is already showing your progress. So let me know if you like this video, if you like the course so far, if you like the way of teaching. Your review really matters and it keeps me motivated to, for creating you additional content and additional courses. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next videos, of course. Until then, 
My name is Vlad, this is Alpha Tech, and I will see you guys. Bye.